Today we're taking a look at an Olight i3e keychain flashlight, and that's coming up next year on Just CB Outdoors. Welcome back everybody, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I'd like to thank Olight for sending this out to the channel. I'm actually shocked because I'm a smaller channel and I didn't even think they knew who I was, but they sent me a couple of things out to do reviews on, so we're going to test them out. Let's get this over to the table, we'll unbox it, I'll tell you some of the features about it, then we're going to take it outside and test it out and see how it works. So let's get started. Now let's open it up and see what all comes with this here. Package is very nice done, done up on these, I like it, they give you a little pull tab here. Pull everything out, we got our flashlight. We got our instructions here. See how these look here. Looks very legible. Of course, we got Chinese writing and English. Some of the information right there. And some info on the back of it right here. Get it to fold out there. Got some info, but everything you need to know about the flashlight. And then we actually have the flashlight here. Everything looks real nice and neat on that. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take this apart, take the tab out of this so the battery makes it work, and we'll take a look at it and tell you all the features about it. This Olight flashlight has easy activation. Simply twist the head of it and it'll turn it on and activate it, and it has 90 lumens, and it has a machine grip for optimal grip. It uses a single AAA battery. With a regular one, you will get 45 minutes of runtime. If you have a nickel metal hydride, you get 70 minutes of runtime on it. Now you can see the O-rings here that seal it off. This gives it an IPX8 waterproof rating. It features a high performance LED light. It also has a PMMA TIR lens that focuses the light to reach out to 44 meters. Now this flashlight is just as small as your pinky. The total length of this is 2.38 inches long and only weighs in at 0.68 ounces. The head diameter on this is 0.55 inches, and then the total on the body is 0.49 inches. And it's been drop tested at 1.5 meters, and we're going to go outside right now, and we're going to do the testing on the drop test and the waterproofness, so let's get outside and try it out. Now we're outside with the i3e here, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on here so you guys can see it. That way what we're going to do is, is we're going to do the test now. Once again, what we're going to do, we're going to beat it up here, slam it on the wood, do it kind of hard. That way we can test it out here. It says it's drop proof. Seems pretty legit. Hitting it pretty hard here, knocking it around. Looks like it's still working. All right, it seemed to take a beating on the wood real quick. We're going to grab a rock and we're going to knock it upside a rock here real quick and see how it does with that. Now you can see we got a rock here and I just want to do the same thing. Still lit up, hit it on the rock. Not phasing it at all. Try to slam it down. Let's take the rock and drop it on it. All right, we're dropping the rock on it. You can see it's still lit here. So I think for just like dropping it out of your pocket, I think it's gonna work out pretty good here. Not bad at all. This is a pretty big rock. You can see it's still lit up there. Let's shut it off here and see what kind of damage we did to it. All right, sitting there looking at it. See some scrapes right there. That's going to happen in somebody's pocket anyways to me if they got keys in it. Dented it up. Looking at the lens here, I see nothing wrong with the lens at all. Just some marks where the uh, rock landed on it. So now let's go ahead and water test this. All right, now we're at the pond here and you guys are probably going to be like with Jesse. What are you going to do? Are you going to drop it in the water? Nope, I got it right here and it is on my fishing pole. So what I'm going to do is... As you can see, that is lit up right there. I'm going to eat this across the pond. I'm going to try to bounce it off the rocks if I can. We'll see if it hits the rocks or hits the ground. It hit the ground. I'll zoom in real quick so you can see it bouncing down the rocks into the water. Now we'll reel it in here. See what it looks like, if it's still lit up or not. I got it on top of the water so you guys can see it kind of skipping across as we reel it in. 
we'll drag it up the rocks here and then I'll get a hold of it here and we are still lit up on it let's try it one more time see if we can try to get it on the rocks here oh nope I went further out into the water I don't have a good aim with it but that's all right we'll do another water test we'll get it reeled back in here do it kind of quick you guys can see it skipping across the water here we'll check it out and see what it does bounce it up the rocks here all right we are still lit up on it let's do it a third and final time here maybe i can get lucky and bounce it off the rocks here oh nope just before the rocks that's all right we beat it up enough anyways with a rock on the dock so we'll see what happens here see it skimming across the top of the water we'll bang it up on the rocks where you'll end it up here all right and let's see if it's still lit and it is so now let's take it out when it gets dark out and see how it works in the dark now we're outside and we got the i3e here and of course this ain't a very bright flashlight so i'm not expecting a lot here i am about 15 yards from my burn pit and we're going to turn it on here now we are up full blast. I can see everything at my burn pit from 15 yards. We're gonna walk up close here so you guys can see it. And as you can see right there, there's everything you need to see. I can see it perfectly fine here. Hopefully it shows up on camera here because it always shows up better in real life than it does on camera. Now what I'm gonna do is another use for this at night. Now another use for this at night is if you forget to turn your light on when you come home and you need to see your doorknob to put the key in, you can see right there, you can see it perfectly fine, lights everything up real nice, makes it so you can put your keys in and get in your house. Now the last thing I want to do is, let's say you're on the side of the road at night and you need some light here to change your tire, turn it on here. And you can see, you can do everything you need to do to get your tire off here. That is real nice for this. You could use it under the hood and everything else. Now, let's take it back inside and I'll tell you my final thoughts on it. So what's my final thoughts here on the Olight i3e little pocket flashlight? I like it. I've had this thing for a few weeks now. I've done this video in different series on different days. And ever since the day I opened it up and did the unboxing, I've been carrying this one in my pocket. And it's been perfect. It fits in my pocket. Don't even know it's there. Sits in there with my keys. The keys don't mess it up or anything. Now, look what we did to it. We beat it up. We threw it a rock on it. We put it in water, threw it across the pond, and then drug it back through the pond in the water, and it held up to everything I threw at it. Then we saw how bright it is. To me, this is the perfect brightness for a pocket flashlight. For negatives, I really can't think of nothing. It comes with a regular battery, but if you put a lithium ion battery in it, it gets even longer runtime. Simple twist of the head turns it on and then turns it off. I really like that about it. I really can't find anything I don't like about this one, guys. So I do recommend this one and give it a thumbs up. So as always, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check this out. Also, there'll be links down there to check out Axel Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. Some of these are affiliate accounts, and they do help out the channel. Another one got discount codes to save you guys money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.